Everybody buckle your seat belts because we are about to get shook. Oh my gosh, guys, today is an important, important, important video because guess what? Stray Kids finally came back and if you guys don't already know, I am a stay. I love them. I've been with them since pre-debut, since I found out about the survival show. And needless to say, it's been an emotional, beautiful journey. And I love them so much. And I'm just so excited that they're finally coming back. And honestly, guys, this comeback, I swear, I don't know where I've been, but I haven't been as up to date with this comeback and it just i don't know what happened um but it just like crept up on me and um now we have an mv out and i'm just like what because literally this morning like i didn't even think we were getting this mv till later tonight tomorrow because it's supposed to come out at 6 p.m march 25th in korea but i checked earlier when i woke up and it was like 3 or 3 a.m in korea on the 25th so i was like Where's the logic? I don't know. Maybe I'm getting my time mixed up, whatever. Hey guys, editor Jay here. So I just wanted to pop in and explain the confusion there. Um, basically, um, JYP is doing a new thing where they release the MV before they actually release the album. So that's why I was confused and why we got the MV a day before. So yes, that is why. And yeah, that's it. Okay, bye. But I was not expecting this mv today when i woke up because usually i watch my mvs or for my old groups or like the groups that i like really hardcore stand right when they're released um but i didn't get to do it this time for stray kids because i didn't know that it was coming out today um but nonetheless it is out now and um i'm going to be reacting to it right now and i'm kind of freaking out because stray kids is my old group and like i've been waiting for this and it's here now um and I was originally going to uh, watch all of the teasers, listen to the teasers for the the um, the album, and make that its own separate video before I watched the actual MV. Um, I was gonna do that today before the MV came out, but it's out now, so that's kind of scratched. Um, so I'm I'm like going completely blind. I have not seen any teasers. I have not heard what this. Uh, that's a lie. I did watch their like, um, for Stray Kids, they put out like a video, like a 20 minute video for each comeback explaining like the different tracks in their MV and have all the members like talk about it. And then they also talk about like the process and then the dancing and all that stuff. So it's kind of like an introduction. It's, it's an intro. So I did watch that and then they did show clips of the title um, and a couple other songs. So I did, I, I have, if you, I guess you can say that I've had that spoiler but actual official teasers and stuff i have not watched at all so i'm going completely blind and i'm kind of freaking scared because i've been hearing what people have been saying about it on twitter and i just i'm just ready to get into this this is gonna i'm talking too much let's just get straight into this let's get shook man let's get snatched all right let's go Okay, I've been reading things. Ooh, Stray Kids about to start a revolution up in this biz. Oh my god, I am with his red hair, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god, Hyunjin looking like a greaser. Oh my god, I'm dying. Oh my god, man, I'm a champion. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. They're literally they're okay. Okay, they're joining the crowd. They're about to stir some shit up, man. Stop that thing, stop it. Listen to the Oh my gosh, the cuts. I heard this too. What did you hear? Off the chat, okay. Wait. Oh, it's curly hair. Oh, send them home. Wait. Oh my god. Whoa. Strike kids have reached the city. Wait. Oh my god. Go! Oh. 
Oh my god, he's dropping so fast. Oh my god. Wait, center minnow. Wait, hold on. Wait, the dead. Wait. Well, this is okay. It's EDM. Oh my god, our president, we know. Oh my god, wait. Okay, this this is really intro. The dancing though, guys. Oh my god, that's making me nervous. <laughs> oh my god, Chan. Stop it, what are you? We love Center Minho and he's getting these lines. <laughs> Hold on. I am not a big fan of EDM. Oh my god, this choreo. Oh, I'll finish that in a moment. <laughs> this is sick. Oh my god, that was a cool effect. What's up, Ujin? Oh, it's fading out. <laughs> oh, um, uh, we're gonna watch that again. You bet your sweet asses we're gonna watch that again. Like that, I need to pay attention to details because that was like my fangirl reaction, but this one I'm gonna pay attention to details, okay? And who am I kidding? There's gonna be a little bit of fangirling in there. I can't help it. Stray Kids is my old group. There's gonna be some no matter what. But I'll tell you my deep, my thoughts of the song afterwards. But we just gotta watch it one more time, okay? One more time. Sorry, this video is gonna be super long because of it. Oh no. But let's go. One more time. JYP Entertainment presents. Okay, we got the, the top hat. They're throwing money. Corruption man, corrupt officials. Oh, Shanjin. Oh, so there's the fangirling. <laughs> Look at these kids. And I have the, the English subtitles on this time because the first time I didn't have it on. Like, you just know that they're just. Um, it's so, like, mesmerizing. I would love this instrument over here. It's really soft. And it de definitely counteracts with the rest of the song. Jungle. The I'm okay part. I love this part and this choreo. Yeah, jumping off the buildings. This part right here is really catchy. And then there's switch off racks. Oh, Tangman and Hinton are a good duo. And then the lion roar. Oh, 
that move, JBJ guys. Anybody know? Oh, that I just saw the lion. And the stray kids, I love how they add that in their song. Okay. That part is so catchy. Is this what a rave feels like? Is this what it feels like at rave? It's cardio, man. Ugh. I just love how they just build it up. Oof. Damn, Minnow. Get your life. Then G song here. Fair girl. <laughs> Eat you up. Oh my gosh, he's so talented. That tiger that they put on the screen. Oh. I love it. Look, this is the rave right here. The neon? The neon too? Oh my god. And then the people in the back with the mask. Again, and then they always, they implement like, ro like tiger roars um, in the song. So I love how they do that. Guys, this is really... I love how it fades out too. Stray kids. <laughs> okay, stray kids everywhere, all around the world. Yes, definitely they are going all around the world. They are showing everybody what they're made of and sooner or later, they're gonna be everywhere, okay? Okay, so now to my thoughts. I, for like, I knew it was gonna be EDM. And personally, EDM is not really my favorite. Like, I like EDM, some EDM, um, but for the most part, EDM is not really like a genre of music that I gravitate towards or that I will like go on my playlist and like listen to it. I guess I just don't really search for it, I guess. Yeah, it's just something I don't really gravitate towards. So um, I'm very pleasantly surprised that I enjoyed this EDM track because it's very heavily EDM. Like that chorus is heavily EDM, but I really enjoyed it. I think this is one of their catchier song, like title tracks. Like it just has that element to it. The beat is so catchy. The I'm okay part is so catchy. The fly all day is so catchy. The the when they do the oh 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 I can't do it correctly, but that is catchy. Like everything about this song is really catchy, and it makes me want to get up and dance. Like that's the one thing about EDM. Like you just want to go like fist bumping, like literally like fist bumping. Um, so I really like that they're I don't know it's just so catchy, and I really like this song. Like I can envision myself like listening to the song in my house and just like going crazy. Like I, I I just know, I just know. In my car, it's probably gonna be dangerous. So maybe I shouldn't listen to this in my car, but I just know when I'm at home, like getting ready, I'm not gonna be like, I'm just gonna be like, I'm gonna rave, <laughs> fist bumping, have the urge. Um, but this song is just so, so good. I really, really like it. I love the soft parts and I love the EDM element to it. And the tiger roars that they add into this just, who would have thought that that would just make it come all together and i just really like that and like the whole tiger symbolism i don't know what it means um whatever but just like with this whole concept of them like you know this is kind of like a more political and uh speaking out about corruption and like corrupt officials and everything like that which is very so prevalent to what is happening right now in korea and like you can apply this to anywhere around the world um with corruption in general but i just really like this whole concept of it and i am sure that like the tiger has some element 
representing that but i just really like that they put it in there it just adds a little adds power to it because tigers are very powerful and i just really like how they put that in there like they're like they are the predator like not the predators but they are the kings you know and i think they had like a lion in the back or if that was a tiger i'm not sure but I mean, if they had the tiger on the screen, I'm pretty sure that was a tiger, but I'm not sure. Also, I totally forgot to mention, like, wow, I am, what kind of stay am I? But this day is so important because it is also their first anniversary, guys. Their first debut, and well, you can't have a second debut anniversary. You get what I'm saying. Anyways, it's their first anniversary since their debut, and they gave us an MV, an album, and everything, and like, from here on out we're just gonna see more of them and i'm just like so happy as a stay like this is like a very important day and like to have this mv it's just like it's just icing on the cake guys and it's just so good and the fact that they're hold on the fact that they're talking about like this political corruption whatever stuff a year into their debut and like targeting that and being like no we're not okay with this like that's kind of unheard of and then that's really great for a year into debut like straight kids are really trying to say something and like they honestly don't care like that's honestly so cool they're talking about things that not a lot of people talk about or that is really important to them and you can tell and i just i'm so proud of straight kids for like stepping out of a comfort zone and stepping into a different or stepping out of the box or out of the boundary do you understand what i'm talking about i don't know what i'm saying but you get the gist right um, so the fact that they're doing all that is just like really crazy. Like Stray Kids, I applaud you. I really do. And then it, on having a catchy tune on top of that, like they know what they're doing. Like Three Racha and everyone who helps with their tracks, they know what they're doing. Oh my gosh. What more can I say about that? I know Woojin, I noticed that he got like one line from what I can tell. Like from what I can tell, Woojin only got like one line. And I mean, he's the main vocal, so it's kind of sad that he didn't get as many lines, but you know, he'll, they'll make up for it with like B-sides and stuff like that. And you know, line distribution, you know, it happens sometimes, even though like we can, we get upset over it quite a lot, I know. But Woojin, you still sounded amazing with that one line that you got. Um, Sinmin sounded so, so good. He looked amazing. Felix Zobra, like in the beginning, he was starting it off talking, oh, his deep voice, I cannot. Oof. And then freaking the duo rap between Hyunjin and uh, Changmin. I love when they do switch off raps like that because it was Changmin and then Hyunjin, then Changmin, then Hyunjin, and then Changmin did his like full on rappers. And I was just like, yes, king. Like the rap line in Stray Kids is ridiculous. Like we have Changbin, we have Felix, we have uh, Mino, which he's kind of like an unofficial rapper, but he does rap in some of their songs. And then we have Jisung and then also Chan, he raps as well. Uh, we have yet to have a Chan rap in a title song, but you know, Chan is a rapper guys, he is, okay? CB97, <laughs> um, but, and then also Sungmin can rap. Everyone in Stray Kids can rap, okay? I heard, I heard, I heard Woojin raps in one of the tracks, one of the B-sides. So basically everybody in Stray Kids can rap, everybody in Stray Kids can sing. So they were totally multi-talented. They can also all dance. So multi-talented kings, we are so proud of them. Um, but yeah, Jisung, hold on. One thing I do wanna talk about because with the rap line, I'm kind of like sporadically like going everywhere. But Jisung's rap, oh my God. Like he is so charismatic, just like, the spotlight on him, like he is just, I can't, he is so talented. Like I can't even express my thoughts about him. He's just super, super, super talented. And the things that come out of his mouth, the way that he, the things come out of his mouth, it's just, it's beautiful. It's a masterpiece. And I applaud Han Ji Sung because he really is going places. I just, I loved his rap portion so much. And the fact that he mentioned, mentioned Bear Grylls, like, I used to watch that show a lot when I was younger. That was like my guilty pleasure, um, but it was so cool that it was in there. But yeah, overall guys, this is just such a catchy EDM catch, catch? Such a catchy EDM track. Like it is everything. It has made me want to listen to more EDM. And like, I'm not a big fan of EDM, but I want to go out and listen to more EDM. But can other EDM compare to this EDM track? I don't think so because Stray Kids EDM, 
that's that's all i live for okay like this track is everything and i'm so excited to listen to the album and everything oh my god this song is amazing i can't stop saying like i'm like i'm saying that now like i say that about every stray kids song but like i'm just saying like this one is as a title track is just I don't know, I think it's one of my favorites. I don't know, I had to listen a couple more times, but I really think this is up there, and yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna stop blabbering because this video is gonna be way too long, um, but you know, that's just because I had to watch it twice because, you know, Stray Kids is my old group, and you know, that's what we gotta do. Um, but yeah, that was my reaction to Stray Kids Miro, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this track and everything like that. Um, also, stream this on YouTube. Please, please, please stream Miro on YouTube and stream their songs on any other streaming platform so we can help them get music, show, wins, and overall just increase their popularity in Korea. Like, they have a good steady growth right now and we just want it to keep them going up and up and up. And definitely they're gonna get there. Like, I really like this pace for them and I'm just really excited to see what they have in the future and what the future will bring for them also. And I'm just so proud of them. This is just a really good day. Our first year anniversary our third comeback and it's just a great day for everybody and i hopefully all the new stays or anyone who's gonna join the fandom is excited for their future with stray kids and all of us because we do have a blast over here in the stay fandom so if y'all want to join y'all can come just definitely check out their music stray kids have some great music they talk about a lot of good things that are very helpful and just insightful to like people of our age like they've helped me out so much with their music and i know that they have helped other people with the stuff that they talk about they really talk about it all and they just want to give some type of comfort to anyone who is struggling they have mentioned ma many times that they do it for the fans and that if they anyone comes up to them and says like you know your music helped me that is what drives them so you know they are definitely doing it for everybody and i'm just I'm just so proud of them. I need to stop gushing because then I'm gonna cry and then that's just gonna be a whole another thing we don't even talk about. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Also, I do have a lot of other videos coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, bye. See ya later.